President Obama signed an executive order the other day to review any federal regulations that could hurt business and job growth in America. Sounds good, right? Oh, there's always a catch. It exempts the new health care and financial reform laws, which are perhaps the biggest offenders. To our freedom fighters, Fox Business Network senior correspondent, my colleague and buddy Charlie Gasparino, radio host Leslie Marshall, and Suffolk University economics professor Benjamin Powell. Leslie Marshall, to you first. The biggest offenders are the FinReg, which establishes nearly 400 new regulatory authorities, each with regulating writing power, and each with their own staffs and investigators, and the health care bill. So who does the president think he's kidding by saying, I'm going to examine all federal laws just to look for regulations that harm business, except the two that I just signed, except the biggest, longest, most complex, and most burdensome ones. Well, Judge, you know, it really depends who's looking at what and the way they're looking at this because we hear two varying opinions when it comes to cost. The White House says that there's a cost-benefit analysis uh, that is the bar, in a sense, that these pieces of legislation must pass, and they feel that health care reform legislation has done that. The, what the president's doing is looking at things that he hasn't signed into law and seeing if it's not going to benefit uh, the economy or business going forward. And, Judge, businesses in the GOP are on board with this. So it can't be that bad a thing. The president's come a bit middle, as everyone has asked All him right, Charlie, to do. Charlie, how, I, I, how did Wall Street view that op-ed in the Wall Street Journal yesterday? Did the president suddenly have an epiphany that there are too many regulations? Uh, or is he just concerned about trying to get re-elected in 2012? Uh, I don't think Wall Street cared that much about that editorial. I mean, the bottom line is this. When you look at the Obama presidency, if you look at the two major, major pieces of regulation, it's the two pieces that he exempted. And I'll tell you, you know, most people don't even understand the financial reform bill, which I, I've done a lot of writing about, because you know what? They haven't written totally the rules that govern it. So it, it, is, it is a complete mess. The financial reform bill, Ben, which you have probably read, you're probably one of the few people on the planet <laughs> that's read it, certainly no one in Congress read it, is so burdensome and establishes so many new authorities with the, right to, with the power to write their own rules and interpret their rules. Isn't it utterly disingenuous to say, I'm going to look for bad regulation but not the ones that I created? Yeah, th it's a disaster of a bill to have, and it would have done nothing to prevent our current crisis right. that we had uh, because it's just creating more regulations. What we had was not a failure of the market before. It was a failure of bad regulations. To paraphrase my colleague Pete Betke, to say that the market failed in this recent crisis would be like tying Michael Phelps' hands together, feet together, putting a 500-pound weight on him, tossing him in the pool, and when he drowns, saying swimming failed. Swimming what we failed, failed with was regulation. Doesn't yeah. Wall Street, I think you've written about this. I wrote a whole book about, uh, it. <laughs> about this. Doesn't Wall Street loathe uncertainty? And isn't it confronted with uncertainty now as to what rules and regulations these 400 new rule writing right. groups created by the Financial Regulatory Act will write? Because you remember, with each of these rules, the Volcker rule that's supposed to end trading and all, right. these, all this other garbage, the Consumer Protection Agency, right. you have to write rules that govern what they do. And that process is incredibly burdensome, and it's not done yet, from what I understand. Leslie, doesn't that argument appeal to you that, that business people, whether they're Republicans or Democrats, whether they're progressives or libertarians, have the right to know what the law is before they invest their money? And when you establish a law that lets people create these rules out of thin air, that there's no certainty. You don't know what the government is going to tell you you must do with your money. Oh, Judge, you must start to read my mind. I do think that we obviously need to know what we're getting. What bothers me about this bill, primarily, is that we're putting too much power in the hands of the banks when it comes to uh, what is regulated in, in which manner, and it's not specific enough. I don't like giving so much power to what you know, I deem and disagree with someone on the, the panel pa as, the, as an entity that failed the The real the past. problem with this bill is, yes, it's burdensome, but it allows the, 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 the sort of wealth of the nation to be concentrated into five banks. And that's what, that's what the federal government does. But does it, it allowed it to be concentrated and regulated, and that's kind of, and that's like opposite of but what But Ben this Powell, is doesn't it allow central planning in the, at, the, at the fingertips of bureaucrats, many of whom couldn't yeah. run a railroad or the post office? 
this is the same group that was supposedly regulating banking and housing industries as we went into this financial crisis. It's insane to think that this new regulation is going to do anything to prevent the next one. And they, ended, and an they left that one. We've got to take a break. We've got to take a authority. Authority. Stick with us during the break. Thank you. Light bulb gate. Have you heard about this one? The biggest nanny state in the union, California, is forcing residents to buy more expensive green light bulbs. Here's the problem. Turns out these bulbs aren't so green after all. Our freedom fighters shed some light, especially Gasparino, on this debacle next. The state of California is the sickening poster child of big government run amok and fiscal irresponsibility. Now it wants to force the already overtaxed and overregulated residents of California to buy so-called energy-efficient light bulbs. And then we find out these light bulbs are more expensive and not as efficient as officials promised. To my freedom fighters, Gasparino, Marshall, and Powell. Professor Powell, to you first. What right under the Constitution or under the heavens does the federal government have to tell me what kind of a light bulb I have to put into the lamps in my own house? I completely agree. I don't think they have any right to tell you that. But beyond that, the real irony is, even if this program worked and reduced energy demand, it would do nothing to reduce greenhouse gases out there. What it would do, if successful, would be lower the demand for electricity in the United States, so it would use less inputs to create electricity, like oil, oil and natural gas. And there, people stop the analysis and say, great, there'll be less emissions. But the reality is, after that, it would push down the market I, price I, of coal I, and oil, I, I and as a result, I would, I would take China a bet with and China, India, and the developing world would consume more of it, net greenhouse gas emissions exactly equal, just a shift from taxpayers of the United States of wealth to people Got in it. the third world. Got it. That's Charlie, it. How, do you Charlie. how do you think this light bulb thing is going to do in uh, Obama's uh, regulatory review? Do you think he's going <laughs> to... <laughs> no. I would like well, to bet anybody that this thing makes it through this right. wonderful it's regulatory review. Very, very interesting, review. because <laughs> the regulatory review is to review regulations that have been enacted by regulatory authorities. Right. The light bulb thing oh. is a statute enacted by the Congress, oh, Leslie Marshall, a Democratic Congress and a Republican <laughs> president. So this is off the table as to which party is responsible for it. But you, who live in California, uh -huh. whose voice is heard throughout half of California, you like these ugly bulbs that don't give you enough light, right? Well, Judge, my voice is heard throughout the country, but uh, <laughs> actually, I don't I don't like the idea, and I would agree, hey, look, you love my Constitution, don't like the idea of the government, state, or federal telling me what light bulbs to buy, but, guys, I live in California, gotta be honest, I was kicking and screaming about this, I am not lying to you, I can show it to you, electric bill, cut in half, and I'm sorry, guys, you know, oh, they you know only what? last six and a Leslie, half years versus a Leslie, few months I for the bet, 99 cents uh, I Leslie, pay for the I really think normally. this is a backdoor way to impose socialized medicine on Obamacare because what's going to happen is oh, people, God. people, yes, oh, because you're... people are going to lose their <laughs> no. eyesight basically, you know, Get reading the in front no. of these Get light bulbs. The right. no. And they're going to have to, to turn to, try, to, to try and balance. take the serious <laughs> side of Gasparino, <laughs> Professor Powell. If the federal yeah, government I, can I, tell I, you what to put in a lamp that is three feet from where you sleep at night, is there any restraint on what the federal government can regulate? I, I think it's insane that they're doing this. And listen, it's great that you cut your electric bill in half. There's no need for somebody else to subsidize you if you want to buy these lights and you put really them in your house to lower your electric you bill. Really do That's all. We just don't need taxpayers doing it. You know, I, I know we're giving this a lot of serious and weight, but it is so, it's so insane. you got to laugh about it, don't you? Well, it's insane that the government <laughs> tells me what I mean, kind it of a really light bulb is. I don't think it's a laughing matter when the and government's telling me what to put in my Because, right, they're ugly, they don't give off the light that you want, you. and you're not choosing it's, them voluntarily. It's, it's a backdoor way to impose Obamacare, because there's going to be a lot of blind people in California no. because of that. Last word, Leslie, go ahead. Do you like these things? Aren't they ugly, and don't they not give off enough light? And don't they cause blindness? I think they... Uh, they give off enough light. I don't think they cause blindness. I do agree they're ugly, but I'm telling you, half the electric Got bill it. in over six years, guys. Over six years. All right, Come the on. government it's said awesome. they would last nine years. It turns out they last six. Thank you for joining us. Up next, the plain truth on the federal government's desire to regulate everything from health care to light bulbs. Next. <laughs>